this is an interesting thing and this I have a major hat tip hat tip to Ruth Sheets on our CCO team. Ruth is one of our behind the scenes folks. I call her, she's like our fact checker. <laughs> um, but she is very um, instrumental in all of the practice exams that we have now at CCO. And she oversees the project to make sure they get updated. It's a, it's a big job. And right away she noticed that something was missing in the Hicks Picks manual for 2015 from AAPC. And that was the ambulance modifiers. They were gone. And She's like, was there a change? And I'm like, I don't think so. I didn't hear anything. And I'm Googling it like I always do when I have a question. I ask Google um, and could not find anything on it. So we reached out to the AAPC and we, we got a response back. And sure enough, it was an oversight. It was a publication error. Um, so let me, uh, oh, I do have a poll for this, Boyd, if you could launch it. Um, did you purchase your two, 2015 Hicks Picks? manual from AAPC. I'm just curious to see how many people did. And it's either yes or you're planning on it or no, um, you ordered elsewhere. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so, all right, so 50-50. So, um, so this will be of interest to half of you. Um, the, this is a, a cut and paste from a, an old manual of mine where this is what you would normally see in the Hicks Picks manual when they're talking about the transportation services with the, the, the codes that start with an A. And when I'm teaching this, I basically say, you know, how many digits are modifiers when you think of them? And you normally see two, two digits. So the ambulance modifiers, they're single digits that you add together to make it a two digit modifier. So for example, if you were picking up a patient at their residence, their, their home, um, and you were, and the ambulance driver was taking them to the hospital. You would actually use the modifier on the ambulance code RH to indicate where you picked them up and where you dropped them off. Okay, I know I'm making it sound like a bus, but you get the idea. So in uh, the AAPC version of the Hicks Picks manual for this year, totally missing. So I talked to the um, the head of publishing at AAPC, and they are um, writing up an errata sheet so that um, errata are the official paperwork, you can actually bring in errata and, and just put it in your manual. Don't staple it or paste it or anything like that. But if it says official errata on the top from AEPC, you're allowed to bring that into the board exam. Okay, but there, it's not a huge list. You might just want to write it in. I'll leave that up to you. But we, we just wanted to um, alert you to that fact. If you're, you're looking for it, if you're doing practice exams for 2015 and you have the AEPC um, manual, that you don't pull your hair out looking for these. So um, you can uh, copy and paste these from a previous year. Wait for that errata sheet. When we get it, we will be sharing it on our uh, discussion board. Another good reason to uh, hang out with us at codingcertification.org slash forum. But um, thank you, Ruth, for that. Need more medical certification training? Go to www.codingcertification.org.